struggling with improving your freestyle swimming technique, or looking for the best tips and aids to help improve your stroke and power, then this video is for you. Hi, my name is Phil Mosley and I'm a professional triathlon coach. As any athlete knows, swimming is perhaps the most difficult leg of a triathlon and improving your stroke can be really challenging. But don't worry, I'm here to help. In this video, I'll reveal the five best technique aids for freestyle swimming that are ideal for triathletes. So stay tuned and I'll show you what you need to focus on to improve your swim technique. Swimming technique aids, or swim toys as they're sometimes known, are a great way to break down your freestyle stroke into smaller, more manageable parts. Using them in training helps you master certain areas of your stroke without you having to think about too many things at once. Then, once you're used to getting it right with the swim toys, you're then in a better position to start mastering your stroke without them. There are lots of swim toys available to help you improve your stroke, and in this video I'm going to reveal my five favourites. And these are the exact toys that have helped me improve the most and that have also worked wonders for the athletes that I coach. Before I start, please let me know in the comments section if you use any swim toys and which are your favourites. Right, let's dive in. So first up, a pool boy is one of the simplest and least expensive swim toys that you can buy. It's a float that fits up between your thighs and it helps your legs float better. And it's like a figure of eight shape, as you can see, and one part is bigger than the other. So the bigger part should always face down towards the bottom of the pool when you're swimming to give you the best balance and flotation. And the idea is that it helps keep your legs afloat, which means you can concentrate on the upper body part of your freestyle stroke uh, without worrying about your lower limbs sinking. Swimming with a pool boy is also a useful way to break up the monotony of freestyle training and it can also be used in conjunction with a set of hand paddles as a way to focus on your catch and pull through. These attach to your hands to create a bigger surface area for the catch and pull phase of the freestyle stroke. Not only do they provide a more challenging upper body workout, but they also help you feel how well you're grabbing hold of the water and propelling yourself. And if your hands are slipping through the water, that's a clear sign that you're not propelling yourself through the water properly. You need to be grabbing hold of the water and using it as a lever to pull yourself along. And when you get this right, you can really notice it when you're using hand paddles. Just be careful though, because overusing hand paddles can lead to shoulder injuries. These swim-specific snorkels allow you to focus on your stroke without you having to turn your head to breathe. So basically that attaches around the back of your head and your mouth goes over the mouthpiece and you just breathe through the snorkel like you would do a normal snorkel. And uh, they do take some getting used to, but you'll be amazed at how much easier it is to maintain a good technique when you're not turning to breathe all the time. A swimmer's snorkel has several benefits, including balancing out your stroke if you have an overly dominant side, helping you eliminate excess body roll, improving your stroke turnover, and just allowing you to focus on your stroke and your kick technique. Using one of these really helped me to improve my stroke, and it was the first time where I felt all the elements of my freestyle stroke come together all at once, apart from the breathing part, that is. So this is a super simple float that allows you to focus on the kicking element of your freestyle swimming. If you essentially hold it out in front of you and just kick and propel yourself along with your feet and your ankles and your legs. Um, if you watch the pros in a triathlon, you'll notice that they have really powerful kicks, which improves their body position as well as providing some good propulsion. And that's why it's good to include some higher intensity and endurance kick sets into your workouts. And again, they're a great way to break up the monotony of a long freestyle workout. Fins attach to your feet and instantly improve your balance and leg propulsion. They're invaluable because they give you enough propulsion so that you can perform difficult swim drills without feeling like you're drowning. Then once you've got the hang of your swim drills with fins, you're in a better place to start incorporating what you've learned into your normal stroke. Another benefit of fins is that you can use them in conjunction with a kick float to supercharge your kick workouts. And finally, I wanted to mention a bonus swim toy, which is for experienced swimmers, and that's an ankle band. This rubber band ties your ankles together so that you can't kick or split your legs as you swim. 
when I first started using one of these, my feet were practically dragging along the tiles on the bottom of the pool, but it helped me to identify a dead spot at the front of my stroke. And when I realized this and started to change it, my body position improved and with it came my speed. So I'd recommend a band from that point of view. If you think you might have a dead spot, you'll really notice it. And if you fix it, you'll really notice what a big difference it makes when you're using a band as well. So there you have it, the five best freestyle swimming technique aids to help you dominate your next triathlon. Incorporate them into your training plan and watch your swimming skills improve, whether you're a beginner or an experienced triathlete. And don't forget that I've got free PDF training plans to help you get even more from your triathlon training sessions, including the swim workouts. Click the link in the video description to download your copy. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss my future content. Happy swimming, and I'll see you in the next video.